Hi, thanks for tuning in. I am Cecilia Manella and I hop on here every single week and share some tips and tricks around mental health wellness. So June is here and June's topic this month is integrity. So if you followed us for a bit, you'll know that every single month we've been doing a specific word for a topic for the entire month. And June is integrity. Now, the interesting thing I will share with you that I found it really difficult to write about integrity or to figure out some topics for integrity. And it made me really wonder why, why is it so hard to discuss integrity? It's like, we all know what the word means that, you know, we mean what we say, we say what we mean, that it's about honesty. It's about showing up as your true self. It's about doing hard things. It's about having hard conversations, but it's actually something really hard to dive into and discuss. And integrity is this word that we talk a lot about, but we don't really talk about it in depth for ourselves. We say things like that person doesn't have integrity or I feel like I'm living outside my integrity, but we don't often spend a lot of time diving into what that actually means. Now we are going to spend the month talking about it, which is really exciting to dive into this word that we love to use and that we want in our lives, but we have a really hard time creating some context around now, it's difficult to create some context around the integrity because it is a really meaningful thing and it's very complex and it has a lot of depth. But I want you to really think about this. Integrity is about living into our values. Now, if you follow us for a while, you know there's lots of value stuff. We've got lots of value worksheets, um, exercises and things that you can do around values and how to discover your values and what they are. I'm a big advocate of having five main values, not really getting caught up in the having a list of 20. As humans, we can't really keep living into 20 values. We can only really keep track of like three to five at max. And integrity is the practice of living into those things. So if I say I'm an honest person, it means that integrity is about the practice of that honesty. If I say I'm a generous person, the integrity is about the practice of the value of integrity. Now, integrity is this word that is about action. It's not about inaction. So we can't show integrity by being passive and sitting back and not doing anything. And integrity is a verb in so many ways because it means we are actually doing something. So we're living into something. So we're living into our values or practicing them. And this is why it's really hard to grasp integrity, to really dive into it. Um, Professionally, we know what, what integrity really means is because we are guided by rules around, you know, best practices and those kind of things. But personal life is really different because we are guided by our own rules and we're guided by our own boundaries and our own limitations that we want and comfort zones. And those are constantly shifting and changing depending on where you are in your life and your life phases, um, what you're learning about yourself and relationships and all the things. So I want you to think about integrity and these are some journaling prompts for you to dive into this month's topic is, you know, when do you feel most in your integrity? What are the situations? Who are you with? Um, what is the context? When do you feel most in your integrity? What does that feeling feel like in your body? Um, I know for me, it is a grounded feeling. It's a, um, confident feeling. It is feeling reassured. Um, it isn't always a good feeling because being in, in integrity sometimes mean, means having really difficult conversations. It means maybe ending relationships. It means, um, having, um, confrontational kind of conversations, which are really difficult. Um, and that's when I know when I'm in integrity. So I want you to ask yourself when, when you're in integrity, the flip side of that question is when do you know you're outside of integrity? So when are you acting outside of integrity? What does that feel like? How do you know that you're outside of your integrity and what does that feel like in your body? And for me, it feels like a ton of anxiety. Um, it feels like something's wrong, or I know that I'm not stepping up. I know that I'm not using my voice. I know that I'm being quiet and silent and passive. Um, and that is an, a really strong discomfort um, in myself when I'm living outside of my integrity. 
So these are two questions for journaling that you can ask yourself as we dive into this topic of integrity. Um, we've got tons of blog posts coming your way, which is really exciting. Um, and I will be doing videos on different methods of like checking in with yourself around integrity, integrity with yourself, integrity in relationships, integrity at work, um, integrity potentially being as a parent or a mentor to young people. And what does that mean in this ever changing world, which is really hard, it feels like to grasp onto integrity when uh, the rules are constantly changing and um, it's really hard to kind of keep track of those things. So I hope you join us for the rest of the month of June um, for our word and um, grab a journal and do some writing and digging into some of those hard topics um, that we've got coming for you this month. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Music